Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. If you are looking for some fantastic goalkeeper signings in Championship Manager 0102, this is the video you want to look at. So, very beginning, we're going to start with the highest um, the highest price tag and make our way down as we do this. So, number one is Oli Khan. When you look at Oli Khan's stats, you know he is absolutely phenomenal. During this period, Oliver Khan was, I, I would argue, the best goalkeeper in the entire world. In 2001, I think it was when Bayern Munich actually won the Champions League um, final anyway. And you can just see he is absolutely amazing. He's only on 48 grand and, you know, his contract expires in 2003. The issue is it is really difficult to persuade him to move anywhere else because of his loyalty towards Bayern Munich. But he is an amazing goalkeeper. Nevertheless, if you decide to join and start a game as Bayern you will not need to worry about signing a goalkeeper for a first for the first couple of seasons. Second, as we go down, we have got Francesco Toldo. Uh, he is obviously into Milan's keeper. These first two keepers are actually quite old. 29 years of age. You can see his handling is 18. His agility is 20. So he's not bad for an old man. Um, his contract, he's only on 29 grand, which, you know, in this day and age seems like less. <clears throat> the issue there is he's just joined from Fiorentina, which means that Inter will probably not want to part with him, which means that you will probably need to be Inter in order to actually use Toldo uh, within this game or wait a couple of seasons until it is finally able, till he wants to move. Next one is Gianluigi Buffon. Um, people argue that he is the best goalkeeper in this game. I would I would actually agree with that in terms of reputation and in terms of stats that we can see. Um, he plays for Juventus on 26,500. His contract doesn't expire until 2004, so you are going to have to put a bid in for him. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, he's got 20 Italian caps already, and you can just see handling 19, bravery 20, pace 20, stamina 18, agility 19. Um, bit of an issue there with aggression, but I suppose you want a keeper that's quite good. Reflexes 19, positioning 18. He is a very, very good goalkeeper and one who is established and will definitely last you for a couple of seasons as he's only 23 years of age. Next one down is Canizares. He is 31 and he plays for Valencia. Um, I actually quite like this guy. His contract comes up quite soon, but Valencia were actually a big deal on this game around this time. Um, so he is one to look out for if you want to. He's only cost 4.8 million um, and he is actually a really good signing. Casillas, a young Ica Casillas at that. Um, now what's really interesting about this is that they've got Cesar here and Cesar at the time, he was playing a few games for Real Madrid. So you could actually entice uh, Ica Casillas to come along but I don't really know how you're going to do that really because his loyalty towards Real Madrid is actually, you know, that he's, he's a one-man He's a, you know, he's a one-club man, isn't he, at the moment? 4.6 million for a 20-year-old. It's always a bad sign that when they're, they're young and they're that age that already the price tag is 4.6 million. The only way is up, really, with this tag. Um, so, once again, it's your decision. Uh, Sebastian Frey, <clears throat> 21 years of age and from Parma. Many people go for this guy. Now, if, for example, you decide to become a Premier League team or a Serie A team or a La Liga team... Um, he is a good option to go for. So if you have that bit of money, I honestly suggest that you do go for Sebastian Fry. Uh, he's 21 years old and he does turn into an incredibly good goalkeeper. And I would recommend him, really. I think he's one of the keepers, if you do have money, to actually try and bid for. Uh, next one down here, Marcus Prohl. I actually never heard of this guy. Um, but he came recommended once, and uh, I actually played him, and he, he actually is a really good keeper. Obviously, stats aren't up there because I haven't scouted him just yet, but it does turn out that he actually is a good keeper. 21 years of age again. I mean, that's what you want in this game. You want players that are with you for the long haul, um, and, you know, as as I make more videos of these looking at different centre-backs and full-backs, you know, you'll notice a trend with age. Next one, <clears throat> another 20-year-old from River. Um, the issue with this guy, obviously 240 grand is a, is a wonderful amount to spend. You know, it's absolutely nothing. It'll probably have to go a little bit higher than that. Uh, the issue when you try and get people from River is obviously the um, obviously trying to get them over, over the line and get them in the country. Uh, if they're a foreign player, which is always quite tricky. Um, but there are ways around that, and there's videos on YouTube about how you can do that on Championship Manager 0102. So here's another one to look at, uh, definitely recommend. Uh, these last two are the two that I normally buy. These are the two that whenever I start a game, uh, whenever I play as someone from League One upwards, I try and buy these players. 
First one is Chiotis from AEK. This guy is absolutely phenomenal. He turns into one of the best goalkeepers on the game by a mile. Um, he's only 45 grand, which means that you can get him. His contract is ready to expire in 02. Now, the good thing about that is, even though it's not 2002 yet, is that AEK will probably want to give him a new contract. Within that contract, there is normally a stipulation where he has to go for a minimum fee release clause, and it's normally about 300 grand. So it's up to you if you want to wait for that stipulation to come into his contract, or if you want to just get him straight away and you want to get pre-season done, you want to get him used to the squad, it's completely up to you. Uh, my second goalkeeper who, and this was recommended <clears throat> excuse me, by one of a subscriber, I actually never used this goalkeeper before this subscriber told me about him, and uh, it's Hugo Pinheiro. He is absolutely phenomenal. Five grand, that is his price. He is five grand. He's on £130 per week, not 130000 And he is just an absolute legend, 20 years old. And he is a really good goalkeeper. Now, <clears throat> I, I like to go for this guy. Um, I'd say around Division 1, Division 2, because he's only going to get better with age. And the really good thing about him at this point is he won't want to move to a bigger club just yet because of his age. Um, so the issue, obviously, with, with this guy, Chiotis, if you do decide to go for him um, in Division 1 or Division 2, if you don't get promoted in that first season, he might get a little bit unhappy and he might want to move. And as well as that, there's also a risk of the attraction of other clubs coming in. So when you sign these players... Just make sure that the minimum fee release clause is turned off that contract stipulation. That is so, so important. Um, anyway, guys, that is it. These are my top 10 goalkeepers. Um, try and get them if you can. You know, obviously, there are some that are trickier than others to, to get. But down here, as you, as you get further down, they become a lot easier. And I recommend them. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please remember to hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys later.